Hey, welcome to the Cribble Handyman. This is Eddie. Um, this is my third take. <laughs> the second take, I forgot to turn on the mic. Oh, my God. So, obviously, every take is going to be a little different. So, we don't even know. You won't even know. But, uh, hey, uh, I want to talk about um, a property I want to buy. And I want to talk about, you know, how do you go about, you know, how are people going out there and buying properties to flip? And I'm going to give you a little little insight on, on how we're going to do this property. Um, because of the fact my daughter's partner, they're both realtors, and he actually has a, a banker, a source. She's basically an investor. She sold millions of dollars worth of properties back in 2021 or 2020. Bef- you know, right bef- when things were happening with the pendant, when things were crazy, prices were crazy, and she just she made bank just stupid bank. And uh, she ended up starting up a business. She worked for a big financial company, um, huge salaries, making a ton of money. And uh, she ended up just starting her own thing, you know, like an investor, you know, she'll be like, like kind of like a loan, a loan, like a a banker. Uh, It's her own, it's her own business. And it's her own money. And uh, she is selective. And so I'm grateful for my daughter's partner uh, to bring up to to bring me in on this because of my knowledge. He had somebody, but they weren't really as knowledgeable as what I have. You know, they knew about flooring. I know about the start to the finish with any type of you know building, whether it's residential or if it's commercial. I know the ins and outs of it, what it takes, who to hire. And uh, how it needs to get done. Uh, pricing of stuff, well, it's a, that's a different animal. Pricing of everything is just outrageous. And it gets pushed down to us consumers. Consumers, But it's a tool that you're able to use. Even a regular bank will do this. You know, say you want to flip a house and you want to buy a home. And you said, um, um, so yeah, I want to buy this property, but it needs some updating. And I want to turn around and flip it. Well, bank, banks will do this with you. So what they do is, they'll, you know, obviously you got to qualify for the money if you're doing it solo by yourself. So you could do a smaller, cheap, more of a affordable type home. So you find a home for a hundred grand and needs, you know, twenty five grand of updating, and then you could turn around and sell the home for say one sixty five, one seventy. Um, yeah, that's worth it. You know, a smaller home it, it should only take less, you know, thirty days to to flip the dang thing. Then you get on the market and go on to the next and keep going. But so they'll they'll blend you the money for the cost of the property. And of course appraisals will go out, make sure that it is, you know, appraised at that value you're buying. And then you let them know like all the updating you're gonna do to the to the property. And so you're gonna need like an additional, like I said, twenty five thousand dollars. Now you're at one twenty five. Well, the home needs you appraise at a certain dollar amount where you, you're gonna be able to sell the house for. For the bank to do this, and there are tools and types of loans where banks will do this. And then, as the work gets done, if you do all the work that you all the updating you say you're going to do, then the bank will. Those are all those are separate payouts to the contractor. Say you're just going to do a kitchen and bathroom remodel and update the house, and then you're going to flip the house like that. Maybe you're going to you know paint it and you know maybe put some new carpeting in or something like that. So, you know, just simple, basic stuff. But these are tools any bank can offer. Not all banks, but there are banks out there. Uh, the guy I was dealing with, my uh, mortgage broker, um, there was, he worked with plenty of banks. The bank he worked for uh, did all this stuff. Well, he moved out of state. He went somewhere else. And so I lost my resource and I stumbled upon my daughter's partner and he has this resource. So that's how we're doing this. So the resource, she's going to lend us all the money for the property and, you know, going to evaluate how much money it's going to cost to get the property done. So I'm hoping I could work with a homeowner. If they say yes, I don't want to even close on the property until, like, I want to have some sort of contract, like, kind of, like, written um, truce or not truce, more or less an agreement saying Yes, we will sell you the property. 
you know, because I would want to make sure I could hire, you know, get certain contractors because if there's lead times, there's windows that got to get replaced, the siding. If there's lead times where the contractor says I'm three weeks behind, I can't get to it or it's like, hey, it's going to take three weeks to get the windows. I want to lose three weeks right there. Yeah, there's demolition. I'm sure there's a lot of other works that, that can be done prior. And, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Maybe we'll maybe we'll have to stretch the loan to this late. This gal likes to do 90 days, not 120 to get her money back. So maybe on this one, maybe she'll work with us. Uh, we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, we got a tool. We have a resource. Get yourself. Get yourself in, you know, in relationships with a realtor. Get yourself in a relationship with a lawyer. Get yourself in a relationship with a banker. Get yourself in a relationship with an investor. These four type of people, if you're going to do this type of work, you're going to want them in your back pocket. I've always had lawyers and realtors and, well, basically, you know, banking has always changed. Back in Chicago, I used a, I used a bank for contractors. They were just for contractors. They didn't hold mortgages, but they supplied construction loans very easy once they got to know me i could go in and i could close out on a piece of land and literally i could have a check in two weeks and uh it's just those kind of i don't there's not a bank out here that does that i haven't seen one so you know of course my whole life has changed being disabled and not able to work my regular career and having having that extra source of income so my income is limited base, but uh, my wife's income is very well, you know, so with us together, it's good, you know, then my daughter and then her partner. So this, this should be a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, I got a video of the property that I'm hoping to buy and um, I'm asking three right now without seeing the inside. She talked about mold and all this stuff. And if, if, if it's really bad, I, even, I already explained to her. I said 275 might be the number if your parents are want to sell. It's been abandoned for one year. And there is no way what the market analysis said, the house is like six and a quarter, but they don't know what this house looks like. You cannot sell this house for that money in the shape it's in. You know, it'd be like, Oh, I got a, a car for sale here. Oh, the uh, blue book says it's worth uh, $15,000. It's like, oh, it doesn't have a transmission, doesn't have four tires. And, uh, yeah, we want a four thousand. No, we got to put a transmission in it. We got to put the four tires back on it. No, you're not getting the $4,000. You're getting like 1000 bucks, 1500 bucks. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know, a scenario like that. Um, well, if it was 15, it'd be like, okay, we'll give you 9,000 or something. I don't know, but it's kind of the same scenario with this property. It's in bad shape. And, um, I don't fear that stuff because of my background. Um, I'm trying to get people into the construction industry and, um, you know, there's a lot of ways you can make money and, um, yeah, cause we're looking to pull down, we're looking to pull down 150 on this property. You know, if we get it, I think I get it. Even if it's at three, we put 125 into it. That's 425. We should be able to get 650 easy for this property. Um, so it's close to getting two for it, real close. So even if it went to 150 in in construction, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll still we'll still be just fine. But uh, yeah, check out the house and uh, help me get to a thousand subscribers and uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, it help my obviously help my channel grow. Uh, I see there's like 90% of you that do watch my videos. You know, I'm trying to create some cool content, interesting contra- content, educational content, informational type content. And of course, you know, more or less just, um, kind of like doing something around the house, you know, learning how to do something. If you never did something before, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, here's the house that um, that we have a bid on, and it's not even for sale. This is a homeowner that is out of state, and um, it's been abandoned for a year. And the daughter, she she doesn't want it. I think she'd rather have the money versus you know dealing with all the stuff that what I'm gonna have to deal with, and put all this money into the house, and 
you know, and not getting screwed over. Because if she would do it herself, they, you know, no, no, no realtor is going to put that house on the market to to what it, you know, above asking. No, I mean it's 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 in bad it's in bad shape. It needs needs major 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 renovation. So um, yeah, this is the property I'm looking to buy. I'm at a property that I'm looking to buy, and uh, with my daughter, the deck, the garage door, all that. The siding is pretty rough. I would probably replace that siding. This siding goes horizontal. We may, yeah, so it's very possible. I'm not sure how much of the siding can be kept. Deck. It's got to get redone for sure. Deck's in bad shape. Gutters look good. Um, windows are original windows. Windows are shot. So basically what I'm offering them is not an unrealistic price. We have to, yeah, it needs all new siding. Siding, fascia, soffits, gutters, that's all got to get replaced. You can see down here, it's warped. Down here, the siding's just in bad, bad shape. Windows are wood windows. Holy shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck that is. They're in bad. It's like, like a storm window on it. They're single pane windows. So, back here, how many windows are on? Back here. This is this side of the house. Replace the door. The molding's cracked. New lights. Oh, there's another deck over here. Yeah, siding and windows, the exterior, it all has to get redone. So, yeah, that's in bad shape. That's just looking at the outside. So, just haven't seen that. This deck is not even a code. Shot, patio door, shot. This probably has a 100 amp panel. I don't know, the lines look, look good. How does the roof look? The roof does not look bad, to be honest with you. The roof looks in really good shape. The roof has been replaced. Well, that's a plus. Yeah. The roof's in good shape. Whoop, up there. Um, this house is like 16, 1800 square feet. And then, like my property is over there. It goes up to the corner of that fence. Here, let's zoom in. See that gate right there? That's the corner, and then my property goes, oh, holy shit. And then my property goes all the way down. Um, there's my truck. It's a big lot. It's over a half acre lot. It's got a shed, tractor. Have someone come pick that up. But it'd be cool, actually, personally, I'd love to just own this property just to have all this extra land. But, um, yeah, we could get away with the fascia and soffits, but I wouldn't. So basically, the entire exterior, I'm guessing it's a crawl space, um, being cinder block. I think the house was built in 1984. So on this side of the house, we got 
one window, patio door, window two, three, four, five, six, six windows, and one patio door. So six, six more windows on this side, even that little window, that's like transom, whatever the hell that is. It's probably for like the foyer. So that's 12, and you gotta replace that door. 12 windows and a door. Um, 12 windows. Like I said, the roofing looks fine. Siding, windows, shot. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so far 16 windows, 17 windows, three doors, 17 windows, three doors, one garage door, two decks, um, and another service door. So that's, so that's, one, two, three, three service doors, one patio, one garage door, and 16 windows. So six, six, and three. Oh. Did I say 15 windows? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 windows. Three service doors, one patio door, a six foot patio door, and one eight by eight garage door. Oh my god. So look at this. Look at the property here. Check it out. So there's the fence line all the way to the tree. And uh nice big yard. I would fence off this whole yard. The three split rail fence it off the yard goes all the way past my truck actually the corner of the fence basically and all the way across yeah the roof looks good though she must have replaced the roof a few years ago yeah siding the exterior is shot except for the roof so on that note um, yeah, I don't even know what the inside looks like. This is just the outside, and um, so fascia soffit, siding, windows, doors, garage door, two decks. All the exterior has to be redone except for the roof. Um, that right there, that could run, that could run me forty-five grand easy. Right there, maybe fifty. I don't know. Hang on. Who I find to do it. Um, I just love this, love this land. Well, yeah. So her property goes to the power pole down there, obviously, and then basically like those little fence deals all the way across. It's a big lot, huge, huge lot, huge. And half, well, almost half the property has fence. Like that has fence over there. But um, this would be some really cool views off this deck. Think about it. You're on this deck. Check this out. You're on here. And that's your views looking that way. That's pretty pretty badass I like that huh. it's funny how every how everyone's backyard yard side yard whatever how it's so different to everyone else's property but this is uh this is a property that's uh offers on a table but that's still that offer is so I have to see the inside, what work needs to be done, and then we'll determine that. So, 
but I'd say I got like 600 feet. So if you look at that fence over there, the fence up there, I wonder if that was like real close to me. And all the way down, this is like to her driveway. My house is back there in the trees. And uh, and basically this would all be, all be part of my, my property if I'm able to keep it. That would be effing cool. Yeah. And this is county. This is county road. So, I'm going to leave on that note. Owners, they live in Montana. And uh, she did, re the daughter responded. She'll talk to her parents and see what they want to do with this property. <sighs> but right now, I'm without seeing the inside, the outside, I'm seeing 50K just in updating outside. I'm gonna guess probably another 75 inside. I could be wrong, or it would be 75 on the outside, 50 on the inside. I try to leave about $125,000 budget to update the house, you know, bring it back to snuff. Um, because right now it's, it's just, it's a tragic mess. Tragic mess. So, on that note, we will we go back home, which is just right down the road, and um, see what happens. Yeah, take it from there.